Yo, if you like the intro, hit the thumbs up button below the video to help me out. This game here is in low master against Malzahar. I take Conqueror because it's just the most fun right now. And you can also go Electrocute or First Strike. The build is a standard Eclipse, Profane, Edge of Night, Grudge into whatever you want. I go Sundered this game, I think. And I like going Teleport against Mages because it helps me a lot in the early game. So let's see how this game went. So right off the bat, I make a mistake. As I go toward the Wraiths, you should always press Tab if you see their jungler there and see if they have Sweeper or not. And if they do, then don't use your ward. So I lost my ward for no reason. But the early game um, goal against mages in general and Malzahar is just to wait until your first recall or your first item if you're still not comfortable after first recall. And, you know, level 7, 8, 9. At these levels, you become much stronger. So those are what you want to play for. And yeah, it's just a standard lane against mages. So the early game goes by relatively quickly. We're both level 6 and I see my jungler on the right. So I use my W in a weird way just to give Malzahar some confidence and hopefully have him walk forwards. Then I take my W and I ult onto him, throw the Qs right before the Malzahar ults. So usually against Malzahar, when you ult onto them, you want to Q straight away. And then, you know, your Qs will come out as you're ulted, like it did there. And at the end, I tried to make sure I get the kill, which I did. And yeah, that's great. Now I have Eclipse. I see the enemy Darius is low in top lane. So I chase him a bit. And then if I forward it, we find him here. And then I flash on him. I E auto, but then I failed the auto because he grabs me, which is fine. That's why you hold your W. That's also why I went for flash and ulting him straight away. It's usually much safer. And against Viego here, I should have held my ult shadow when he's holding W. And just try and flip it like that. If he misses his W, then maybe I can kill him. But he hit me and I die. So as I'm mid, my Ziggs face checks from the right into the Malzahar ult. So I saw Malzahar using his ult straight away so I can go on him. Um, I saw the ending of his ult, so I know it's down. That's the main thing or reason you want to look at your teammates while they die. And now I'm pushing the cannon wave after killing Malzahar. I see my team is fighting in the river, but I make sure I commit to fully pushing the wave before I move. It's very, very important. And before I go in, I just get kind of scared. Then I just W on him, get the kill. Make sure the Darius Q doesn't hit me and then take that kill as well. So the game is kind of even, although the enemies are pretty ahead still because they have bounties and stuff. And I find Darius in the top lane. Usually you want to wait for him to use Q, but then he wards. So I WW and then auto E. And then I ult him. And then I make sure I use my profane after he is under 50% HP. So it's fine to go in WW onto Darius if you know that he can't really like one shot you. Because then you can get your E up again. Or sorry, your W up again and kill him like that. So my team goes for a really int fight in mid where I can't find an angle to go in. So instead of going in on my W there and trying to save the fight, I just retreat because it's much more of a smart move. And as I go down here, I see Darius come by. I use W over the thing. I get scared a bit. I Q him and then I realize I'm doing quite a lot of damage. So I can probably just kill him. I get lucky with his grab <laughs> as he used it like that. And then I just combo him and use my profane when he's under 50%. So I kill him. And I realized the enemies in mid lane are also just overextending for this inhibitor. And Viego is a big shutdown. So if I can just kill Carthus and Viego, I'll be really fed. I save my profane to flash profane the Viego so I can kill him with one Q. And then right here when I WEQ the Malzahar, I wait for my E to come back up. And then I go in and then I auto E. Knowing that I need another auto E, not just an auto to kill him. And I'm going to show you guys why Edge Knight is so good. The Malzahar randomly TPs in and we catch him. I get kind of greedy and I try to kill him, but then he flashes. But when I ult right here, I ult onto Darius and he gets pushed back. And then my Edge of Night saved me because it blocked the Viego stun. So that's really lucky. I'm really glad I had Edge of Night because I just insta die otherwise. We win the fight, so it's pretty good because I can back out and get this farm and farm the camps as well. So here's another reason why you have to watch your teammates die. <laughs> my Briar, Briar just randomly goes in and gets Malzah halted. So I take note that Malzahar has no ult. And if I forward it a bit. Um, so right here. Shove the mid wave. It's been about 30, 35 seconds or so. Forward it again. He stops my base. So I use my W forwards. And I'm thinking to back out. But then I realize he probably doesn't have ult. So I take my W and I ult onto him. Luckily the pike stun missed. So I can W back onto him. And then Q the pike as well. Take my ult shadow. Looking cool. Killing them both. So I recall, I buy Grudge, and as my teammates are fighting, I just teleport to help them, thinking maybe I can kill this Viego. I go on him, I use my spells, but then I get Malzahar halted. I'm like, oh, whoopsie, but at least we got the kill. 
And then I go back in on my W to try and get a pike as well, which costs my flash. So if I just back out there and keep my flash for the next fight, it will be so much better. Get saved by the Soraka. And then right here, I see Pike and Miles Heart moving to the left. So I stand right here. I have a pink ward. I use it. I shouldn't take my W, I think, but we kill him, luckily. As I'm about to recall, I end up staying because Karthus is behind my Soraka. I use WQ, and one thing you should do is just wait and let your W hang for a little bit if you need to. Because then my W came back up and I can use it to get away. It's pretty important to do that in the mid to late game. So you can use your Ws more often and you can just like outmaneuver everyone. As we're going for Dragon, Malzahar randomly walks forwards. So he flashes and dies as well. So <laughs> I don't know, that was a bit silly. And we get the Dragon. If I forward it a bit, I'm just waiting here. So instead of hitting Dragon, you should stand a bit away from it and try to catch your opponents out in case they can test. Um, especially when you're fed. And then right here, I'm like, well, I should just go in, WW, ult onto Karthus. And use my spells, because I know I have Ziggs ult behind me. And yeah, we just chase this Viego down for a good while, actually. I use my Ws, and then I go this way to cut him down. Or cut him off. I'm like, yeah, we'll get him, Briar. <laughs> and he actually do. I'm like, oh, well, he actually got him. So right now, I'm just top lane, trying to get my Sundered. I find Darius, and I go straight in with W. I made a misplay. I should do WWE, so that my... W comes back faster, but either way we kill him. And always try to use your profane when they're below 50% as well. So now as we're sieging to end, I just want to look for the angle. I have six items and red pot. I wait and I see the angle to E both of them. So I WQW flash auto E or flash E profane and then auto. Realize I have W again so I can W straight onto Viego. And yeah, triple kill. Easy peasy. Looking for the quadra so I just go straight there. I profane so I can do WW profane best combo ever um but yeah we get a quick quadra kill and we kill all of them which lets us end the game i think if i forward it a bit yeah so thank you so much for watching this video uh, it was a bit of a shorter one this time just to see how it goes and i hope it was useful and all that good stuff uh, i'll see you in the next one peace In